Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to the show. What if it was pink? <laughs> Today we're playing Potemkin. My goal is to get into Celestial. Uh, Potemkin Buster. Now you might be saying, oh, Glory Hog, what if you do the Carback Mega Fist, uh, Double RC, Red? Shut up, Jimmy. Alright, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're not gonna pay attention to that, okay? That's not important. The goal, right now, is this. This is it. This is the goal. You get the hit, and then you Buster. Moving forward, we start off in the park, because today was a, it was an off day, to be honest with you. We fought a Bedman as our first match to warm up for the Celestial Challenge. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, as you can tell by the footage being sped up, this was not a fun match. <laughs> very, very boring. Uh, the Bedman player wasn't that experienced, my guess is, or at least it's a nearly another matchup or whatever. whatever. They didn't really respect Slidehead, so I kept getting a lot, and I mean a lot of free space, <laughs> like, like a lot of free space, <laughs> counter it, and then that's the game. Oh, that's the round, sorry. Next round. Starts off, you know, oh, casual little footsies, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, cool impact, uh, knockdown, uh, buster. And then you know what I'm saying, huh, I wonder what he's going to do next. Another buster. <laughs> Then we fought a Johnny. Uh, Johnny, this patch is uh, interesting, you know, was one, new character. Uh, two, basically built for this patch. And uh, I really like his game plan. You know, that's kind of cool what just happened on the screen there. But uh, you know what's even cooler? Getting, or missing the buster, and then, and then getting counter hit. <laughs> yeah, I think Johnny's really cool. I like the idea of the card having to like be respected or like at least be a thought when approaching Johnny, or like when Johnny's doing his pressure. And then it begins. Celestial. Ah, Celestial. We're, we're making our way there, you know, it's eventually we're gonna get there. First match in ranked at floor 10. To the Johnny player. As a Potemkin player, if you are fighting me, you gotta figure out if I'm gonna do striker throw first, you know. Most people assume, hey, He's probably going to do Potemkin Buster, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Free damage. But you got to make sure you know that player's going to do that option. Because you know? it's Potemkin is a strike and throw character. He's either going to hit you, or he's going to grab you. One or the other. But if you're going to keep assuming, oh, this player's definitely going to grab me, and just keep backdashing, it's free space. It's free space. Then we got an on in next match. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I think the... I think it's... I don't even know if it's a DP. But the fish move that Anji got, really cool. Don't ask how I made this comeback, because I couldn't even tell you. But it happened, so... Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> the the new mechanic for gear, Wild Assault, I think is very, very cool. And the fact that you can like play around with other different characters is also really interesting. But Potemkin's Wild Assault is just like a... He gets iframes in the first eight... He gets iframes in the first eight active frames of the move, I believe, as well as a guard crush on block, which is, you know, great for Potemkin. Literally, like, the best thing ever. I haven't used it that much, but I gotta start using it more. This Johnny player, alright? You, he was doing, doing great. Like, doing great, pressure's good, strike throw here, beautiful. Um, like, lovely. This is what not to do when playing this game. All right, you get a wall break? Okay, cool. All right, that's great. You're doing good. Why are you backdashing? Why, why? Don't, do not backdash like that. You have two meter and positive bonus. This is your time to shine. And then look, you use all that space right at the wall. I get one anti air, boom, wall break. And now I have positive bonus, so I jump in. He wastes both of his meter right there. It's my turn to shine, boom. I drop it, because gamer, but guess what? Wild Assault, grab. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The same person comes back as Gold Lewis. Uh, I won, I'm pretty sure, every round against them, but they left. So it kind of sucks, you know, but then again, people really care about their rank, or maybe they just weren't have a good day. That's what it is, we move forward. Fought this Nago. I used to play Nago a lot. Now, before you leave the video, alright? I used to play Nago a lot. I know, a sin. But, 
on the upside, uh, I think this patch, these changes this patch are really cool. You know, I think the fact that, well, they were already in last season, but the fact that when he has higher blood, he gets less defense is interesting. And it, like, really incentivizes you to, like, find how you want to play with the character. And also, 6H being a new move is amazing. Anyways, moving forward with the next match. Against this lovely soul player, who got me really, really frustrated because I could not understand what they were doing or why they were doing it. But, that's not really that important. But, uh... It, not everybody's gonna have, like, a game plan or a situation or scenario. They just, they want to play the video game, you know? And that's, pop off, you know? Like, do your thing. But I just, I could not get into this player's head. Like, I, I could not figure out what to do here. I get this base slide head, cool, I'm gonna go for grab. They super, wall stops them, and, and they just, that's it. It's a wrap. It's my, like, we're in my, this is my game plan. And boom, game. I, I don't get it, but... This is what it is. And now I'm like, okay. This, they're totally not going to do that again, right? They would they would never super because I've already punished them, you know. But whatever. So we're going, we're fighting. I think Souls changes are also really cool. But then again, you know, they could have done my boy a little better. But it's, it is what it is. I get away with this nonsense. Somehow. I... 6P. It, it worked. Biggest advice for somebody when playing this game. Right. Figure out the fundamentals for your character. Well, first you gotta pick a character, and that's pretty easy. Just, you know, whatever speaks to you on, like, a style-wise or whatever, go for it. Figure out your fundamentals, and then start playing the video game. Just start learning. Just go. <sighs> Here we are. The beginning of the Celestial Challenge. Fighting this Asuka. I have not fought Asuka's at all. Except for like, me and buddies messing around. So this was very, very jarring as, like, the first entering, like, fight <laughs> to the challenge. I... Yeah. What do you call it? As a Pathetic player, Axel and Testament, like, are kind of rough to fight against. Uh, but Asuka's weird. Because you can, like, interact with some of his orbs to, like, get them off the screen. But then again, it's not always, like, the game plan... I don't know, I still have a lot to learn with that matchup, I think. Uh, maybe I'll just figure out how the character works on my own, and then find, like, what works or doesn't work, but... I think I need more experience with this match up specifically. Also, Asuka's a teleport, and a DP, that's really cool. I think it kind of sucks that it's locked behind the cards, and, like, his, his whole game plan is to get the right cards, then do the right things, or have the cards to then be able to adapt the situation, to then do the things with the cards. Which is cool, but it would suck because you're kind of locked out of certain combos because of that, right? At least that's what I think about it. I don't know. It seems too up in the air, but then again, there's probably a way to... Nah. We're getting to awesome specifics, right? I'm Potemkin. Me no think much. Me grab. Potemkin Buster. That's it. That's all I want to do. That's the goal. It's a dream. But yeah, this Asuka player was really good match, I think, for the beginning gateway into Celestia. Really, really cool. I wish I played better here, though. Like, that was supposed to be 5H, and I also did block the overhead there, but... I could have saved more HP and give myself better opportunities if I just played better, generally. Like, the anti was pretty good, but there's a lot of room for improvement for this challenge, you know? And then grab, because... That's right. Why wouldn't we grab? We always grab. Oh, yeah, this Oscar play was really good. Or maybe I'm really bad, but I feel like they were good. I think as a... To, to kind of give light to this matchup a bit, because I'm just kind of like going in a circle here. I feel like as a Potemkin player, the goal is probably, probably be more patient, just because of like how many things are on screen, and as you can see here, I'm trying to, like, brute force my way in, but the game plan really is just to wait out for the orbs, wait out for them to do whatever the Asuka player needs to do, and then just capitalize on it, you know? And it's- that kill felt so dirty. The deflect shield worked for them great, but they were just too, like, angsty to press a button, and then got killed for it. 
and then boom, we're 3-3. We're three, three. And then right after that match, that beautiful match, I fight a high lat soul. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, King, or Queen, or whichever you prefer. Uh, it was rough. <laughs> like it, it was, it was rough. Alright. As a, I'm not beginner player, but I'm better than most of my friends, but I'm not good on like, let's say a competitive level, right? Like I just, I have decent fundamentals, I mess around too much, and there's a lot of improvement for like finding better ways and interactions in neutral. But this soul player was just not helping me feel any better. But it is what it is, you know, we get him next day, we tried the social challenge another time. But yeah, thank you for watching my video. Uh, hope your day is great. Or night or whichever I don't really know uh, this was a nightmare to edit you have no idea but uh, thank you for sticking around uh, ta -ta. <laughs> adios muchachos that car back my shut up Jimmy anyways we're gonna move forward I stupid this is a stupid take I'm gonna shut up <laughs>